got a kind of a sad story now. We've got this Japanese maple, which is a very rare, beautiful cut leaf maple, has died. And we were looking at it, and I gave a little push on it. We we're trying to figure out what killed this tree. Go ahead. We gave a little push on it, and it snapped right off at the ground. And when we looked closer at the tree, we found that this tree has a tie around it. And it grew all the way around the tie. Look at that. And it completely constricted the tree. And pinched it off and the tree died. So in the effort to... Uh, you know what that is? That is the tie from the, the burlap. They put that in the ground. There's, I'll bet you there's a burlap. I, you know, that's the way they leave the burlap. So there's still a burlap in there and they left the tie on there to hold the bag yeah. in place and they just forgot about it. Oh, I see some stupid things, but this one's right up there. You know, I took that uh, piece of wood off of that rare Japanese maple because it was an interesting piece of wood. It was very old, it was a graft, and it seems like such a shame just to throw it away. I rescued it from the chipper, and here's what we've got here. Here's where it came out of the ground. At the bottom here, you can see where it snapped off, and I cut it on the bandsaw, and the other portion of that, I cut into a nice little uh, spatula. So you can see the backside of the, of the base there, I left the bark on. I don't know, you know, somebody would like it. Kind of cool. But to go one step further, I took the remaining portion of it and I made a walking stick. So I left the big end down here and the graft is right about there and it went up. I cut it on the bandsaw so I got to, to the center of this Japanese maple piece and I'm going to finish that up and at least, at least the life of that tree is not for naught. That's hard to say. <laughs> I'm going to go put a coat of finish on this now. My wife gives me the old dish rags and says, this thing's stained, you can use it for your shop. And I think to myself, wow, do you know how many years of drying dishes I use this? Oh, well, it's rag now. So I'm gonna put a little coat of oil on here. I've got uh, different types of oil. I'm going to try some wipe on poly. I like this stuff. It's uh, half polyurethane, half oil. And it goes on pretty easy. For the food grade stuff, like the little spatula, I would use mineral oil. You can, it's sold as uh, butcher block oil, but it's actually it's just mineral oil. You can go to the drugstore and get it a whole lot cheaper. I love how the graft shows itself right here. This is the part that was in the ground like that. And here's where it grafted. I don't know whether this would be a better gift for a horticultural person or an arborist or a woodworker. I mean, an arborist would really appreciate it if he knew the story. If you give it to anybody else, it's just a stick. But I like it. I, you know, I like prolonging the life of something that was so special to begin with. It was sad that this tree was screwed up. And I'm sad that it was killed by somebody's ignorance. Wow, that's so nice. That just takes on such a beautiful, beautiful gloss. This finish, finish that I'm using here, it's got a little tiny bit of polyurethane. I think it's about, well, it's probably about half polyurethane. 
So it's not a real filmy type finish, but it, it retains a little bit of that gloss. But it goes on like an oil. And uh, it's very much like what Sam Maloof used for all of his furniture. It'll take a nice gloss if you get enough coats on there. And it offers a protective finish. But I don't like that, that film finish. Wow, look at that. Yeah. And then ultimately I wax it. You know, I've made a lot of walking sticks or walking staffs, whatever you want to call them, over the years. And I've given away dozens of them to my friends. A lot of them are hikers and they appreciate it just for going hiking out in the woods. Kind of like I am right now. But a lot of them are for older friends who may need a little assistance. You know, some of these guys that are you know, getting on in age, they are a little bit intimidated by the idea of using a cane. Maybe they need a cane, but a cane just isn't cool. A cane is almost like saying I'm old. So if you give them a walking stick or a walking staff, you know, that's, a, that's kind of a, that's something to be proud of. You know, it's like I'm a hiker, I'm a, you know, I'm an adventurer. So, you know, think about some of the older people in your life. Um, Instead of giving them a cane, try a walking stick. It goes a long ways. And it's always fun to see them out hiking or at least just walking around their property. And most people that get a walking stick really appreciate them. So think about uh, walking sticks as gifts for some of your older friends and look for the special pieces of wood while you're working. Well, thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate all the subscribers out there. If you're not a subscriber, please do so. Uh, pass this on to your friends. And, uh, be safe out there. Thanks a lot.